Hello, my name is Laura Irvin, and today I want to talk to you about Nancy Hart. She's a woman in the American Revolution from Georgia. Today I'll discuss why Nancy Hart was important, the importance um, archaeologically and historically of Nancy Hart and her cabin, and why it was preserved, the value and the value of a field trip to this location. First, let's dive into Nancy Hart and the importance during the American Revolution. Nancy Hart's real name was Anne Morgan. Nancy is a nickname for Anne. She would marry Benjamin Hart in 1771 and became Nancy Hart. Her importance to the American Revolution was her ability to fight as a warrior woman, as the Cherokee tribe referred to her. Nancy was known for her imposing figure. She was six feet tall with red hair, and she was cross-eyed. She was known for her ability as a marksman. During the Revolutionary War, Nancy, Nancy was a sympathizer for the Patriots, and the British often spied on her. One story tells of Nancy throwing scalding soapy water through a hole in her cabin to burn the eye of a British soldier who was trying to spy on her. Another story tells of how the British believed she was lying to them about a Patriot, and they were pursuing her, and therefore slaughtered her last turkey on her farm, and then demanded that she cook it. So Nancy supplied them with liberally, liberally with corn, liquor, getting them drunk so they would not notice her sneaking the weapons out of her house. Her daughter would use a conch shell to notify the neighbors that help was needed. But the British caught her moving the weapons and threatened her, so she turned the weapon on them. Nancy warned the first one not to move, but the soldiers, they didn't heed her warning, and so she shot the first one and killed him. Now, the newspaper article in 1900 stated that she shot two. She and her daughters held the others at bay until the neighbors arrived, and then she, with their assistance, hung the soldiers from a nearby tree on her property. Nancy was a true patriot hero who fought for the cause in which she believed. The location is important for two reasons. One is it memorializes a woman in the American Revolution, and it helps explain the importance that she played in helping the patriots, or at least the links and willing she was willing to go to. And two, it preserved the archaeology during the Revolutionary War in Georgia. The cabin, which is a replica Use the original chimney and showcase what a cabin in Georgia would look like for an average family. She was not part of the wealthy elite planners, but an illiterate, cross-eyed, everyday person who felt the cause of liberty and the call. It gives those of us who visit the site the ability to see how everyday colonists live and the ways in which their homes were created and styled. The Nancy Hart cabin was preserved due, the, due to the Daughters of American Revolution. According to the Dayton Harold, the DAR, went to the, visit the site of Nancy Hart's grave and decided that a monument should be placed over her burial spot. They then decided they would buy the land around the grave and create a park to dedicated to her patriotism. A field trip to this location would provide students with the ability to envision the way the past looked. It could also pique their interest in the story when they visit the park and learn about Nancy Hart and her exploits during the American Revolution. It provides them with a deeper connection to the material that goes beyond just reading and viewing images. It provides a deeper engagement with historical elements. The sheer ability to travel and gain understanding from the location will add contextual knowledge to their ability and to their understanding and allow them to synthesize the material they are learning about the revolution. It also enriches their learning by removing them from the traditional learning environment and creating a new experience for them if they've never been there or if they've never been to a historical site. I know that since COVID, many field trips have been canceled, and this would be a great way to create a learning experience with a Revolutionary War hero that is relatable and invigorating to learn about. Thank you so much.